What's happening guys? Welcome to ADB South Africa. Today we're working on my 2021 Honda Stereo F110. We're busy putting on a skid plate, a sprocket cover, and a shift shaft brace. And it's all come in perfect time because this weekend we're racing at the pit bike pitch and ride. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that. So first things first, let's put the skid plate on. That way we can put it on a center stand and work on the rest of the bike with ease. In addition to that, every pack that you get will have its associated hardware and especially the skid plates, they come with their red Loctite. Let's fit this. Just before we put the skid plate, if you guys want to skip ahead to either the sprocket cover or the shift shaft brace, just click down in the title description and it'll be right there. It is also worth noting that each package will tell you which bolts it has in it and what newton meter to tighten it down to. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so first thing we need to remove is these two front bolts that hold the foot pegs on. If you want to get your hands on any of the parts you see in this video, check out Rogue Minis, the link's in the description below. And then we're going to remove this black cover. So let's start off at the bottom. And this bolt that we just removed from here, we're going to keep this one side. Just yet. So we find at the point where we're going to use our stainless steel fasteners but before we go ahead and put them in we're just going to put a little drop of red Loctite on each thread just to make sure those don't pull out of the block while we're busy riding. So just push it to one side, give it a little trim, drop there, drop there. Those are ready to go. Okay, so now that the bolts are prepped and ready, I'm just gonna line the plate up somewhat. I like to put this bolt that's on the right in first. Get a decent bit of thread in there. There we go. Okay, then we can go to that side of the bike, put in this small bolt that we pulled out of that plastic cover over there. Just thread that in by hand and about halfway. Then we fit the second bolt that holds the foot pegs. So as you can see, I'm going in by hand just so that uh, I make sure I'm not cross-threading it at any point. If it's extremely difficult to do by hand, pull it out, double check, Make sure you haven't cross-threaded. Okay, but those have gotten about as deep as I need to by hand. Now we can go tight, start tightening it up. Okay, I've set my torque wrench to 22 newtons for these bottom ones. Okay, before I fully tighten that, let's just... Get the other one flush. <clears throat> there it goes. First click. Now back to this one. There it goes. And here you can see the bolt on the side of the motor. I'm just going to tighten that in. And then torque it down to 10 newtons. <laughs> okay, now we just got to nip that down to 10 newtons. So. There it goes. You can also see here that servicing is going to be easy. Don't have to take the skid plate off every time. You can just drop the sun plug right out. Okay, to tackle these next two parts, it's going to be nice and easy. We're just going to remove the shift shaft of the number 10 and then all the rest of the bolts are number 8 and the ones we're replacing them are stainless steel and they're number 10s. Keep in mind that you need to remove this bolt the whole way, otherwise you won't be able to slide your shift shaft off. Now it's 
sprocket cover. That you can put one side with its bolts. We won't need those again. Then this bolt just above the shift shaft. We're going to loosen that. Pull that out, put it in the same packet as the rest of your other bolts. And the one now just to the left of the shift shaft. Now is when you can truly see its length and why they're so vulnerable. So we're going to literally have a brace right here, a six millimeter thick aluminium brace that's going to just help support that shaft so that when we're stomping on it with our boots on or we're having an impact from a crash or something and it's putting pressure on that shaft, there's just less chance of movement, less chance of damage. Okay, we're just going to slide our shift shaft on, put that in place, take our supplied stainless steel bolts, put those in place. So you'll notice I haven't put red Loctite on these. I don't think they need the rest of the bolts here I don't have. It's mainly just our foot peg bolts just so that we make sure that those aren't coming loose during a ride. And now these we're going to talk to the same as the front bolt that was holding our skid plate on. 10 newtons, the so 6mm bolt going into an aluminium case. So you don't want to over tighten this. There's our click there. Click there. That's in, that's secure. And then put our shift lever back. When you are putting this back, just make sure you get the same angle that you had before of where your foot's gonna line up with it. So I think we're about there for me. You can always change it, but you wanna make sure it's right so that either your boot or your shoe can fit under comfortably and you're getting good shifts during riding. Okay, we're tight there. So I like to just line these up before I put it on the bike. One on there, one on there, like that. Same thing with the bottom. And then we just put it exactly where the old sprocket cover went. I saw quite a few guys saying on the forums that uh, some of the other brands don't take the stock sprocket, uh, so this does. Once again, tighten to 10 newtons. Well there you have it guys, I hope I've made footments as easy as possible without any modification, they just bolt on parts. If at any point you want to put your old parts back and remove these, no problem, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So thanks for sticking around guys and I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.